Hello, my YouTube family. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you're watching this video, if you watch it, uh, when you come in, please like the video for me. For my subscribers that I have currently, thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers and your continued love that you give my father and I. If you have not subscribed, I'm requesting that you do. Subscribe to me. I'm close to that. 1,000s I can post on my community feed some pictures and everything on him. But uh, I thank you for stopping by and I hope you're having a, a very good weekend. And this is going to be very quick and short. <laughs> my sinuses, that the weather here is just terrible. Uh, here in the south, <clears throat> the humidity is a killer. You see my eyes are kind of swollen and they're kind of red. It's because my allergies and sinuses are acting up. Uh, Daddy is resting. He has been in a dementia episode for, I think, the past. It's going on two days now, but it hasn't been anything that I couldn't handle like it was when he first had the dementia. When it first started, he was um, trying to crawl out the bed and just do a whole lot of stuff that it left me physically drained to deal with him. But this time, it's more so he knows me or who I am on my voice, but he's not aware of his surroundings. So, as I stated before, that's life. Um, I've never dealt with anyone with Alzheimer's or dementia, uh, as far as one-on-one. -on -one. So this is a new, um, chapter in my life, but I'm gonna do the best I can for him and by him to make sure he's comfortable, but he's resting now. Um, I wanted to, uh, come and address real quickly, um, the so-called beef between Rico and ZT. And I guess a lot of you didn't watch, uh, did not watch Rick Reed's or the governor's um, live he did or the video he had done regarding when he and uh, Rick, I think he and Rico were out. He stated then that Rico had already told him up front that Sean wanted to wanted him, ZT and Rico, to start a beef and to begin dragging James. Now. <clears throat> This was told to ZT, I guess, or Rico, or both. But Rico told Rick, and there are receipts. There's a video. Rick does take, Rick does not take down his videos, but there is a video showing where Rick said Rico told him, or let it be known to him that Sean wanted them to master up this beef um, on YouTube. That was one of the reasons they were they were there in Atlanta for whatever reason, and that. Um, the original plan was to for them to beef and to drag James and others in this beef thing for this whatever kind of show this is supposed to be going on. So what you're saying now, whether it's very rehearsed or whatever, it's manufactured. It's not true. It's fake. Um, the purpose of it is to, I guess, I'm not really sure for the show. You know what I'm so... Anybody with common sense and with a rational mind, yeah, people like shows that has drama and has all these things within it as far as reality and all these other type of shows. But the characters in the show and the things that have been said on YouTube, see, that's the thing about YouTube and that's the thing about a lot of people. You don't realize that what you say is stamped in the annals of time forever because someone has recorded it and saved it and downloaded it and chopped it up and did all kind of things to it so some of the statements that have been made and some of the um views that have been expressed has been extremely negative and it's been extremely harmful and hurtful to various groups of people no uh <laughs> no sane company will pick that up because there are people with statements that have been made on these videos there are companies who will run like the road runner away from you so you need to get out of your mind that there's a show because there really isn't um, because of the content that's been going on on YouTube and anytime a show is probably if it if it ever gets to be presented to a particular place or ever a plateau is made to where you can actually view it or a plateau is made what you can vote on it once the sponsors see because I guarantee you there are people who has videos of Sean, just Sean and a whole lot of people, the things they say, the things they do, even the things Sean has posted on his Patreon. Those things as well have been copied and downloaded and saved. So 
you all got to get get you got to get it together in your mind. You you've got to be able to think for yourself and you've got to be able to see the reality of all of this. But anyway, um I just came to clarify that because I saw the video I I follow Rick. I mean I I just like his videos, you know. He just goes in and that's it. Um but he stated Rico had called him or Rico had told him because you know he spent some time with Rico in Atlanta that Sean wanted Rico and ZT to start up a beef and they wanted ZT or Sean or whoever I mean ZT or Rick whichever one of Rico Rico whatever one of them ZT and Rico to drag James to get him involved in this stuff and I'm, I've said it before and I'll say it again and somebody asked me was I ever going to retract any statements I made about Sean Bradley hell no no I'm not because again the common denominator in this whole thing is what is a devil, is the demon. Who? Sean Bradley. Another, again, behind the concept of all of this. So you all need to open your eyes and realize the manipulation that's going on. And don't be, don't, I, I'm backing away from a lot of the beef stuff because at this point, there's no purpose in most of it. There's no validity in most of it. And there's no reason for most of it. Um, if you watch it, it's the same people. The same stuff, the same anger, the same darkness the same the same the same the same um uh, it's like recycling you know how you recycle your plastic you throw it away and they recycle it and make something the more plastic stuff with it that's all it is it's a recycle recycle stuff so um i'm starting to kind of regret that i wanted to be a content creator on youtube of course i'm asking god to take me get me out of this particular arena so i can kind of focus on something else um I want to go the spiritual route, but then, you know, that's a lot of people are doing that. And I don't see people, a lot of people aren't interested in, in reality and the things that are going on in the world that affects us spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And to see that, that everything that's happening has already been foretold or forewarned. And it's leading us to a particular road to, again, I say our destination, but I'm praying on that or meditating on that to see. But... Please gonna get caught up into the to the beefing with ZT and Rico and Sean and Rick said they tried to want to drag him in there so they drag James. So, you know, at this point, don't get so caught up in the beef because it's not what you re it's not what it really is. It's not what it seems. It really isn't. Um, it just isn't. And so, that's all I had to say. I'm going to go and check on Father and then um, take some sign and stuff and. See if I can get my nasal passages open and my eyes not so swollen. But I hope you guys like the video. If you do, please tell others about me, the video, me, my uh, content, my page. Um, I think I'm 220-something less to getting, getting a 1,000. But I thank those of you who are still with me and who have stuck by me. And I thank those of you who are still praying for us and my father again. He's in the third, second or third day of dementia. He went a whole month and then he started back. But this time, like I said, I'm not wrestling with him or fighting with him, struggling to keep him in bed and all that. He's basically just talking to himself like somebody's there in the room with him. And I'm good with that. As long as if I don't have to wrestle with him and keep him tied down and all that, I'm good with him talking to himself. As long as he remain calm, we're good. So I thank you guys again for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And I always know that I love you. But remember, God loves you so much more. You be blessed.